Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a first look for you. This is a new Diamond Art Club painting called Art Shop by Miss Butter D. You can see here it is 65 by 81.9 or very close to 82 centimeter. And here it is. This is the newer new box from Diamond Art Club. And this picture is going to be so super cute as you can see here. And then on the side of this box, you can see there are 60 colors, including three ABs and six fairy dust diamonds. Amazing. 85,869 diamonds. So she's not small. She's quite big. Are you ready to get into this new box? This is a streamlined, slimline version of the original new packaging that Diamond Art Club came out with. And if you'd like to take a look at that video, I'll make sure that I link it just up here in the eye for you. Luna thought that she heard something, so I needed to stop while she was huffing and puffing. So here we go. Do what makes you sparkle is on the inside. And if we pull, nice. This is what the inner box looks like now. How cool. All right, so they did get rid of the riser that was on the end that was holding the toolkit and I can see why they would do that um, and this is our information so the toolkit now comes with the applicator this new pen uh, putty and multi placers a stackable tray with a lid and stopper as well as some baggies so you can see here the tray the stopper with the lid the putty everything these are stackable, so if you have more than one, which I do, actually, hang on. This is the tray that was from another kit, and you can see that they stack on top of one another very well. So if you wanted to, to do that, you can. And I have been using the pen for about two weeks now. It's fantastic, I really, really like it. Um, <clears throat> So you get that pen in here along with the four placer and a seven placer and you get a plate of heart shaped wax as well. So that's a really good toolkit. Honestly, I really like it. I like it better than the old pen. I never used the old pens, uh, but I use the new ones and I love these trays. They are nice. We were talking about how, how the tray could be improved in a couple of streams and on um, some groups and things. And one of the things that we were asking was if these could be shorter on the sides and if the spout could be just a little bit longer just to help get those diamonds in. And they are taking back the feedback, so that's awesome. That is our toolkit. Now let's look in here so this is like a little wallet of what's inside your painting here let me just open these up you can see the tips and tricks little diamonds very pretty and then in here you see these are all stickers diamond shop or diamond art club and art shop and then you have these stickers for if you use container system they're all there and then we have a picture as well, so you can put that in your journal if you like. It has all the details about the painting. Very nice, love that. So then you get to the canvas itself. Okay, put that to the side in this dust jacket. And then rolled up inside are all the drills. Look how happy those colors are. That is so nice. So there's a lot of pinks and corals, yellow, white, red. I see ABs. Very pretty. And it is labeled. So if you like to keep them separate from the boxes, you can do that. But now that they are the same size as the other boxes, I think that uh, it's probably better to keep them in the box, but up to you, of course. We'll look at the colors here in just a few minutes. First, I'm gonna look at the canvas. 
so it is very very soft as always and it is a little bit wrinkled because of the new you know changes taking out the riser but this actually won't matter this will come out you won't have to worry about that causing like a serious issue later on they're just pockets of air because this is a softer canvas material it will relax and I've already got Luna fur on the painting go figure so there we go I pulled it back look how cute that is if you can see here this is what the canvas looks like sorry words are escaping me it is later in the evening um, but this is what the symbols are looking like. Oh, that is so cute. There's a new symbol there that I haven't seen. This green one right here. And this one over here. <clears throat> and then if we zoom out and put this painting down, you can see this is going to be really fun to work on. It's mostly color blocking. But I really like this because it's an art shop. And anytime that I go to an art supply store, I just love looking at the walls of all the stuff, the markers, the paints. But definitely my favorite thing in this painting is the little lucky cat beside her feet. Now, if you don't follow Miss Butter D on Instagram, please do. <laughs> I love her art. You'll have to go check it out because all of the pieces are like this. And I will actually have her uh, her profile over on Diamond Art Club linked so you can check out her other paintings that might be available because I believe at the time that I'm posting this, this is out of stock from that new release, but it should be coming back. Meow, art supplies. <laughs> so cute. So adorable. Look at this little backpack with the strawberry and her cute little pants so adorable. I love it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the colors. We're going to go through them and I'm going to show you where the specialty diamonds go. So if you'd like to skip ahead, feel free to. Wow. So we have four bags of this 3823, a really nice bright yellow. Two bags of 3731, 3341, 3777. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. It's quite a lot. Then we have 754, which there are four bags, 3350, and 3733. There's also another 3733 here. Uh, two bags of 352, 3712, two bags, 3354, two bags, 945, ooh, Z3865 is a fairy dust diamond, and I will show you with the light on. This is like a glitter diamond, so it has little speckles of silver glitter on the top. I'm not sure if that is coming out very well but it is super gorgeous. I love these. So we have two bags of that. One of the specialty diamonds. 3830, 3770, 3328. Our first 80 diamond, 147. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It calls for that iridescent coating on the top of the diamond. And it just sparkles a lot, like a lot, a lot. It really stands out. So we'll see where that goes. 3012. Another fairy dust, 3833. This one also has a beautiful silver glitter on the very top of the diamond. It's so pretty. 153, 38, 32, 60, 12, and 151. There's another, another AB diamond, 128. This really nice light purple. 402, another fairy dust, 775. Anything with a Z in front of it is a fairy dust. And this has a light blue glitter on the top. Very pretty. 
Another fairy dust, 369. I love that they're adding all of these fairy dust diamonds. So pretty. 3012, 920, 921, 3364, 819, 3004, 3804, 503, and 3011. Oh, look at these. Beautiful coral. 3824. There's four bags there. <clears throat> and then 3836, 3726, 727. We have 3851 in fairy dust, which is this beautiful green color with that shimmery silver on top. You can really see it with this color. The other ones were kind of subtle. 961, 501, another AD 132, this orange. 368, 350, another fairy dust. 743, this one has a silver on top as well, silver glitter. 3809, 356, 522, 3064, 778, 3076, 370, 603, 341, and 3855. And that is all of the colors. So let's see where those ABs go. I'm going to just start from the top and go down. So number one on this is in a white AB and that's actually here in her hair. All of that is white AB. We've got a little bit on the paint on the side here. And I'm just looking, I believe that is it. Yes, that's all of the pink AB that's there that I can see. Number two is orange. There's some in this paint bottle, but there's also on the caps of these, that orange there. And then you might have guessed it in the bell of the cat, the cat's collar. Number three is purple AB 147. That's in the bow of her hair. It's also on the tops of these lids here and here. I could see it in her backpack, a lot in the backpack actually, and in these little uh, bunting triangles. There's also some in the markers over here and in the collar that the cat is wearing. And that's it for three. <clears throat> number four, oh no, number four is not an AB, never mind. Um, so that's all the ABs and then we get to the fairy dust. So fairy dust, we have the green fairy dust is a square, and that was that new square I was showing you just earlier. That's in the plant here. Green square is also down below in this plant just here. All right, and then the next fairy dust is yellow and it's an arrow, so that's also in the bell that the cat is wearing. That's over here, sure. Some kind of paint, perhaps, over here. Palette in this jar, and I believe, yes, that is all for yellow fairy dust. Then we have a blue fairy dust, which the symbol is X. I can see that here in these marker markers in this, can you see that? Yes, uh, right here in this paint bottle and on this label here, right here as well. Markers, just little bits and pieces. It's mostly color blocking, not a lot of color changing. We've got a pink one that is a kind of carrot symbol. It looks like this, and that is in her hair. Definitely all in here. This pink fairy dust. Uh, there's some in this jar over here as well. And then we've got another dark, darker green, that darker green fairy dust, which is a line with two dots beside it. And... 
let's see, oh, there, this jar up at the top, and here, and this label, and that is, oh, and over here, just this little tab right here. And then the last one is the white fairy dust, the two bags of white fairy dust. So this piece of paper, these little bits right here, all of these little, maybe chalks, not sure, erasers, not sure, um, in her socks, the soles of her shoes coming up, going around these triangles, the very bright white symbol there, the stitching in her shorts a little bit in her hair. We've got some in these brushes, these labels, and these bottles here, as well as these labels and going off the tops of those jars. We've also got it here in the background with the window and up here at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back a little bit. To release that little bump that was there and I'm not sure if you can tell but the new Diamond Art Club paintings do have that perforated plastic covering which is so fun to work with because you can now separate your sections by just tearing a little bit and then you can pull this down however big you would like to work on that section and they are double-sided so if you decide oh, well, you know, I don't want to finish this section. You don't actually have to keep it attached. You can lay it down either way and it won't stick to the painting anymore, which is wonderful. But overall, I love this. I love the fact that I have this. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending this to me. One, because it's sold out. And two, because I love her artwork. And three, because this is so soothing to look at. It looks like it'll be really fun to do because it's just large areas of working with the same color and I absolutely love that. So, fantastic color palette, absolutely love it. A little out of my comfort zone, but I love the cats and everything. Let me know what you think down below and don't forget to check out the links as well in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching my videos. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I will see you all soon for my next one. Take care everyone, bye.